Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL Query Training Session with Learn at NoStar. In today's session, we are going to be starting an interesting series in which we are going to write the SQL code to generate some random passwords. Now this can be achieved in various ways and there are various steps involved in the process. So we are going to be splitting the video in different parts wherein we will be exploring the different methods that we can use or different functions that we can use to generate the password. So first we are going to understand each individual function and then we are going to write some more additional logic to generate some random passwords with restrictions like you need only alphabets or you need one number, one letter, whatever is the restriction that we want to apply. So let's get started. So in particular we are going to be learning three different functions in this series of video starting with the new ID function then we are going to learn the random function and then we are going to explore the crypt gen random function as well. So this is all related to SQL Server. This should be applicable to other databases as well or something similar function would be uh, applicable to the other databases. But for now we are working, going to be working on the SQL Server. So in this video we are going to be covering the new ID function. So let's get started. So new ID function is a GUID which is um, uh, basically means globally unique identifier so this is provided by sql server and it uh, generates some hexadecimal random values and it's pretty random so there are very less chances of the values repeating themselves uh, especially if they are run on the same server repeatedly so it can give you a very good mix of random values but let's see what exactly is the output from this new id function so we can simply write select new id here it is suggesting the function itself and now let's execute this and what we have got is a hexadecimal string so you can see that there is a fixed format so every time you run now this is one uh, execution one output that we have got from this execution uh, let's put some more instances of this code and run them all together so you will see that every time I execute the new ID function there are different values generated so they're pretty random and there are unique values generated because this uh, refers to the GUID so the system is going to generate unique identifier values now they all have some fixed format though and you can see that there are hyphens included uh, there are digits which you would be uh, able to I don't know if you are able to identify right now but the digits or the alphabets included are only A to F because it is hexadecimal so you will only have A to F but if your purpose is only to generate random values string values then this would work now you can have various modifications with this you can um, replace the hyphens if you do not want the hyphens if you want only the alphabets and numbers to appear so you can do that as well uh, just beware of truncating this so this would be the length of it if you want to truncate it to a smaller length there are chances there are, there are less chances I would say but there are chances that the values might repeat at some point of time and if this is not what you want then don't try to truncate the value let the value be of the full length now again there might be situations where you do not want the new id function to generate a string value maybe you just want it to generate some integer values so to do that what you can do is use the checksum function so now we are just going to apply the checksum function on this new id function on top of this new id function so this is just going to generate some hash value index which is going to be an integer and since this new id the string itself is random the output that you get from the checksum is going to be random as well every time so if you execute this you get some integer value keep on executing this you will get a different value each time now if you observe right here we have got a negative value right here all right so uh, there might be instances or there might be requirements where you do not want negative values so what can be done 
done to uh, do away with the negative values is simply apply another function okay let me write it as a next step so it is easier to understand so we applied the checksum in the step two ab above um, what i'm going to add is an absolute function which would make sure that the values are always positive. So now if we execute this portion, uh, it will make sure that you have only positive values. Now, another thing that you might want to do is that you might want to restrict it or define a range of integer values that you want to generate. So if you want to do that, um, let's say we want to generate values uh, from or 0 to 99 something like that so what we can do now is let's take it to another step let me just copy this and what we can do now is i can do a percent 100 okay so this is going to give you the remainder uh, let's execute this and see what we're going to get so this gave you the value of 49. So what it is going to do is it's going to give us the remainder of this value, integer value that checks them an absolute generate on the new ID string. Uh, so when you divide that integer value by 100, whatever is the remainder, that is what you are going to get over here. So if you keep on executing this, every time you're going to get a different value. So you got the value 98. Uh, it would go till 99. So every time you see there is a different value generated. But since you have defined it to only go till 99. So after you reach the 99. I mean the values might repeat within that. If you are going to make more calls uh, than the 99 values. Now to verify the exact range. Let's make it a smaller uh, value. So let's make it. Let's say three and execute and then we will know what is the range okay so i have divided it by three and we are going to uh, the return the result is going to be the remainder of that so every time you execute you get the value zero you get the value zero two you get the value two one zero one two okay so what you're going to get is one value less than what you have defined over here okay and they did repeat this does not mean that it was not trying to generate the unique identifiers it was trying to generate but because the range was so small okay so now what you need to remember here is that if you want to include the three so if you want to generate values from zero to three then you have to provide the value as or your uh, limit number here as four and not three okay so you have to do a plus one to get your range of values so this is how you can get uh, the absolute checksum new id function to get uh, random values of integers instead of getting the simple string value that it returns if you just run a new id function so this is one way in which you can randomize the output uh, this combined with many other functions can be used for our sql password generator that we are going to code in this series of lectures um, the other functions as well so the next function that we want to explore is the rand function rand stands for random and we will explore that in the next part of this series. I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next video coming soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.